Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending the show today. Today's special guest is Ammon Johns. Hi, Ammon. How are you today? I'm great, thanks. Glad, glad to be here. Tell us what kind of art you work in. Do you work in oils? Are you a, a pastels guy? Is it sketching? You know, we, we'd love to know what kind of art you're doing. If you can let us know in a comment before the end of the show, we'll, uh, we'll try and catch up. I'm an oil painter. I like landscape. I like a little bit of different creative. Like this one, this is what got me back oil painting again. And my wife told me I couldn't paint anything else after she saw it. And this one, too, has a story behind it. This one is called Horses in Heaven. It's kind of a fantasy reality type painting. This one, it's done in oils as well. I love the feel of oils. Um, I can paint in acrylics. I can do watercolors. I do sketching, charcoal. But oils are my favorite medium. This particular painting was inspired by a, another artist, oddly enough, a, an onstage artist. He's a ventriloquist, and he has a regular show out in Las Vegas by the name of Terry Fader. Now, for those that don't know about Terry Fader, he has a set of ventriloquist dummies just like Jeff Dunham, different personalities, different. The difference is, is there's very little dialogue between them because his puppets sing. Now, I've always known it's tough enough to be a ventriloquist to talk and throw your voice, but this guy actually sings using ventriloquist dummies. Well, he put the dummies down and he said he was going to do a special segment. And he starts to tell this little story about this little segment that he had in his show that when he got booked into Las Vegas, they told him he couldn't do anymore. This is, this is Las Vegas, boys. They just won't understand that kind of thing here. So you got to remove it. So he did. Went on and did about his show. Well, this was back October of 2012. September, he'd had a little boy out through Make-A-Wish. This little boy didn't want to go to Disney. He wanted to go see Jeff Fader live in Las Vegas. So make a wish brought him out there, got him in the front row seat, got, he took him backstage, he did a private show for him, gave him some of the little stuffed puppets that he had as promotional items. And the little boy was just happy as he can be. And he went on back home and he was terminal cancer. Well, just before the show, Terry Fader got a phone call from the little boy's parents. The little boy had passed away. Now, just before he started telling this story, about 15 minutes, the wife and I had received a phone call while we were at this concert, and we had found out a dear loved one had died. So Terry Fader put this song and this piece that he had taken out from Las Vegas back into the show that night in the honor of that little boy. Even in his videos that he sells, this segment is now back in his show. And he tells the same story about the little boy. The song was called Horses in Heaven. It's about a little boy whose friend is dying and his friend wants to know, are there horses in heaven to ride? This painting blinded me. I couldn't see the stage. I couldn't see the audience. I couldn't see my wife sitting beside me. I came home and for the next two weeks, this is what I worked on. I couldn't wait on it to dry so I could go the next step. It was just so hard and so much for me to want to be poured out. And you know, the sad thing was, is I offered this to Terry Fader through his website, but I could never get past his audience. This painting, if someone doesn't buy it before then, if Terry Fader ever asked for it, it's his. I don't care if he pays for it or not. But that's the story behind that painting. 
it's it's a beautiful piece and uh, and your story too. Uh, tell, Tim, if you if you ever give up art, you've you've got a job as a storyteller. <laughs>